สบายดี Welcome to Wow Louder Speak Louder Today we're going to be comparing the words b e n and man what they mean and when it is appropriate to use each of them They both can be used as the verb to be but in certain situation one is more appropriate than the other to use and in some situation one cannot be used at all Ben is more flexible and can usually be used in most situation. It means to be um, something permanent, something semi-permanent, and even something intangible. Man, on the other hand, can only be used in situations where something is confirmed, something permanent, and something tangible. I have a few examples in the following. Of when each is appropriate to be used. In example one, koi ben kai. Koi ben kai means I have a fever, and a fever is not something permanent, and is not tangible. You can't see, hear, or touch the fever, so ben is used. If you use man, it would be saying that you are the fever. And again, in example two, koi ben huang means I am worried. Again, a worry is not something you can see, hear, or touch, so you cannot use man for that. You have to use ben. And if you use man, you would be saying you are the worry, so it does not make sense. And I want to show you that in this situation, koi ben ne ku and koi men ne ku. Both of them can be used because a teacher is someone who is tangible, someone you can see, hear, and touch. So man can also be used here, and Ben can also be used. Um, so, and then in example four, I want to show you that a lot of time the question will guide you in which one to use. Jiao Ben Yang means. What's happening with you? What's going on with you? So Ben is you, so you would use Ben to answer the question back. And Jiao Men Pai means who are you, and you would use Men because Men is in the question already. Um, so that's your clue of what to is appropriate to use. But otherwise, the tangible, permanent things should be able to help. And then let's practice here. Or leave in the blank. Uh, fill in the blank. Leave your answers in the comment. Thank you. Khabjai.